Hello and welcome to the December 2020 Monthly Vibes. I am your host, Janet Namaste. And without further ado, before we go and delve into the entire essence and the transmission of this entire month, we're just going to tune in for just a moment. So if we could all just close our eyes for just a brief moment and put our hands in prayer position. And if you don't wanna put your hands in prayer position, you can put your hands with your um, facing down on your laps or your left hand over your heart space and your right hand over your heart. And as you connect with both palms connected to another, uh, another meridian point of your body, close your eyes and just breathe in from your heart space. Breathing in the energy of unconditional love, of acceptance, and exhaling out anything that no longer serves you. Close your eyes. And with your eyes closed, just focus on the place right between your eyebrows. Activating your pineal gland that is super activated during this period in time while the eclipse portal is open, the last eclipse of 2020. Breathing in the energy and softening up your heart with love and kindness, compassion, and all forgiveness for yourself and for your loved ones. Exhaling out now your intention for tonight's transmission for the energy of the month, your intention for today, tomorrow, and the way that you'd like to finish 2020. Think of all the lessons, think of all of the beautiful, beautiful aspirations that you have, your goals for yourself, for others. And visualize or picture your feet grounding deep into the earth this beautiful energy of love connecting this beautiful pink light as it permeates through your body going up both of the soles of your feet going all the way to the top of your head permeating your entire body with this rose colored light of compassion and that's what you are and once again connect to your heart soften it and speak your intention out loud. And then just open up your eyes when you're ready. Amazing. So let's connect now to what is happening in this month of December. Numerologically, the month of December equals the month equals the number three. And the number three is connected to the inner child it is shaped like a triangle. And the number three also connects us with the energy of Jupiter. And Jupiter is the planet of lucky blessings and of creativity. Today's day happens to be December 3rd. So it's 3-3. In fact, this morning I spoke to one of my best friends and she was saying, there's, a, there's something about 33, 3-3. And we, I didn't even realize today was December 3rd when I was speaking to her. So today is really all about delving into the inner child. And what is the inner child? The inner child is that innocence. It's that purity of the blueprint of who you actually are. And as you know, we're more than just physical body. We are soul, and that is who we actually are. That's our inner child. We are spirit, which is the energy of the creator. And we are body. This is our physical vessel. And what is happening during this moment in time is there is an energy shift that's happening with Mother Earth as well. There's this frequency that's rising and we're all going through what we call an ascension process. And I'm going to try to make it as um, less woo-woo if possible. But guess what? In 10 years, the second language in the world is going to be the woo-woo language, okay? <laughs> Being taught by me, by you, and by all of our, our company. So that being said, 
what essentially is going on at this moment in time is that um, we are entering what is what we call the age of Aquarius, right? Like remember that song, the age of Aquarius? And this is what's going on. It is actually like the hippie age. And I'll explain. Um, Aquarius is a very, it's an airy sign. It's airy. And Aquarius, Gemini, um, and I actually, forgive me, Mercury, these are all airy, airy signs. And every 200 years, we have like, you know, there's the four elements, earth, wind, fire, and water. We have different elements ruling about 200 and 200, I don't wanna say ruling, about influencing, okay? Influencing mother earth, the planet that we all are inhabiting now. This is like, we all share the same real estate guys, okay? So mother earth, every 200 years, there's a different planetary energetic um, um, element that is influencing us. So throughout the past 200 and 250 years, it was earth, okay? And earth, um, think of earth, like people that are earthy, I'm earthy, my, bir my birthday is actually, um, the last day of the year, um, and that's cap. That's the sign of Cap uh, Capricorn. So earthy signs are about stability. It's about structure. It's about foundation. It's about finish what you start. It's um, a little bit serious, right? And the energy uh, for the past two hundred and two hundred fifty years was Earth. Think about it. We had to build structures. We had to. It was industrial. You know, all about industrialization. All of these things in the past two hundred fifty years. You know, these are things about about building financial structure. And it was also a very patriarchal um, environment as well. The people that are ruled by Earth, like Taurus and and Capricorn, and I don't know the other one. If <laughs> If you put in the chat box, um, you uh, the other earth sign, forgive me. Um, these are very responsible and these are Virgo. Thank you. Virgos, they're very responsible um, signs. Not that the others are irresponsible by no means, but we need the element of earth in order to establish foundation. Now, a lot of this is a foundation has this like masculine energy associated with why? because you need the masculine energy to take action. We receive the messages, but then actually you have to do something about it in order to grow and to, and to um, create something with it, correct? So for the past 200, 250 years, we have been in that earthy form. Now what's going on? Mm -hmm -hmm. We are going into air. Now, we came from the three-dimensional world in the past and 3D is, it is very earthy. It's, you think of an idea, you like the greatest inventors, they think of a great idea, but then they need to take the action steps and they need to bring people in and everything like that in order for it to manifest. And sometimes it can take um, years, sometimes even decades it can take. When we enter the age of Aquarius, we are entering now what we call 5D reality. In 5D reality, the number five um, is the energy of truth. And it's about speaking your truth. The number five, which we are going into, if you add the, the year 2021, two plus two is four, four plus one is five. That's the energy of five. We are now entering where it's Aquarius energy, which is all about air, and air travels very quickly, right? Very quickly. Your thoughts are so potent. Hold on one second. Please mute yourselves. <clears throat> so um, air travels extremely, extremely quickly. So what essentially happens is during this period of time when we're entering 2021, and this is now, um, it's all about speaking your truth, of living your truth. And now our thoughts will quickly, with the energy of Aquarius, of air, will become reality almost instantly. So what does this entail? It entails total responsibility. Because if you have more fear inside of you, more um, 
condensed energy that you have not transmuted, more stuff from your ancestors that you have you don't even know that is inside of you, you have to release it once and for all because you have to make space. Our entire bodies are going through an ascension process as we enter the 5D reality, as we enter the age of Aquarius, which is going to officially, officially, you're going to feel it during winter solstice, which is December 21st, which I'll explain, I'll elaborate on that in a few moments. Now, that being said, how are we going to eliminate these fears? They live inside of us. How are we going to go into 2021 um, feeling clear and everything like that No, and feeling confident? Well, we're going during the meditation that I'm going to do today that I'm going to be channeling in, we're going to be going through that process. And you could go back and do this meditation, you know, 10 times, a million times, a billion times, as many times as you feel as your soul is calling you to clear it. And you'll never have the same experience, you know, the way you did prior. It's always going to be different from you for you because you're not the same person that you were even a minute ago. Okay, your vibrations have changed because your thought patterns, your thought current has changed. You've experienced other things, you've seen other things. You've so through that, you are now recalibrating those experiences that adds on to your wisdom, right? So let's speak about the weeks and what to expect throughout the month of December. So this December, we started November 30th and December 1st. We started with an eclipse. It was called um, the full moon and the um, pen, uh, penumbral lunar eclipse. And this was with the energy of Gemini. Gemini is also an earth sign. Gemini is the sign of the twins. And that's about duality. And when there, whenever there is an eclipse time, an eclipse um, is when, when there is a conjunction with the sun and the moon. So sometimes there's a full solar eclipse. Sometimes there is... Um, Sometimes there is um, a penumbral lunar eclipse. So what essentially happens is that throughout this time, the sun energy, which is masculine, and the moon energy, which is feminine, there is this beautiful marriage that happens. And then with the energy of Gemini, um, Gemini in the air, it allows us to see the polar opposite. So we may think that... Um, um, our, our minds may be like, we're, we're trying to process a billion thoughts at the same time. You may find that you're waking up between two and 4 a.m. You may find that you can't let go of things that happen. There's this energy of disappointment. There's this energy of what I call when I was um, pregnant with my babies, it's a nesting process. When, they're, when, they, when I was about to give birth, I like cleared out my entire house, okay? I must have rearranged like the, and this is something that is happening us glo on globally. Now, this, what happens when then, when there's this time, it's a time to cleanse, it, well, to cleanse, to declutter, also to declutter your stuff of anything that no longer serves your highest good. So this is about removing your ego and really writing down of like, from this moment on, I choose to let go. Don't write, I let go. It's, well, it's great if you say, I choose, because we always have a choice. And when you write that I choose, it means that you are now stepping into your power. So from this moment on, up until December 14th, from, yeah, I have my notes over here, December, so December 1st, that's the eclipse doorway that opens up and all the way up to December 14th, which equals, remember, the number five, okay, the 14th equals energetically, numerologically, the number five. And that actually is going to be parallel to the energy that you're going to feel in 2021. Okay. December 14th is now this full blown, like um, new, it's a new moon and it's the new moon in Sag, in Sa oh, Sagittarius. Okay. That's Sag is slang, right? Sagittarius. It's the new moon in Sagittarius and it is this full, full total eclipse, solar eclipse. So it's a lot of masculine energy. Think of the sun, right? The sun. And if and if you guys know Sagittarius, I, I have a Sagittarius rising. I'm a double cap with the Sag. I'm, so there's a lot of, and I have Leo in me. So I'm fire, fire and earthy. So think of now we have this beautiful masculine energy 
and we have Sagittarius. Sagittarius is all about, they are truth bombers. Okay. One of my other best friends are, is a Sag and she's just, she'll tell you right in your face, <laughs> right in your face, the truth, whether you want to hear it or not, but ultimately there's no male intent or anything about it, you know? So this energy between now and the 14th of December, what essentially is happening is truth serum is coming out and a lot of egos are going to be pressed. Oh my God. It's like, um, the things that you like your Achilles heel is going to be tested during this time so you could clear it once and for all. Why the universe, we have all been divinely appointed during this period in time. The universe appointed us here during this period of time of rebirth. This is a global rebirth, you know, and actually I'm turning, I'll tell the whole world, it's totally fine. I'm turning 45 this year, it's so crazy, but yes, and you're all invited to my birthday party. Um, so I turned 45 this year, 45 equals the number nine. It's actually a rebirth also. So I'm going through a rebirth <laughs> individually and I'm also, and the whole entire global um, unity, like, you know, global community is going through the rebirth process also. And all the babies that are being born during this time they're all going to be extremely, extremely intuitive. You're going to see that in this month of December, you're going to be fine tuning your intuitive, not bills. Well, you are going to be fine tuning your bills the entire year because there will be a financial correction, which because we're still in the energy of the earth. Remember, the earthy, the past 200, 250 years was about earth. It was about money. It was about um, structure. So right now we're going to go through a little bit of the, the last of the financial correction, but it's nothing for you to be afraid of or anything like that because Aquarius and the energy of Jupiter, which is what is going to happen on the 21st of the 21st of December will allow us to step into what we were meant to be doing and create new projects and make money and financial stability in what we were meant to be doing. I'm not saying to quit your day job, absolutely not. But I am asking you to find your passion project and just go for it and see what expands from it. Put yourself out there a little bit. Get, you know, like I have my own set of insecurities also. This is like, you know, um, I never wanted to be out there in social media or even doing these Zoom things. This is very big for me too. Um, you know, these are things that like it's stepping out of your comfort zone and, and who knows, your artwork, your words, your financial stuff, your, your skills, your, sculpt, your sculptures, whatever you do, it could bring a smile to someone's face. It could bring it to their heart because 2020 to 2030 is going to be a major time of aha moments and healing. By the time 2030, the next decade, like in the next decade comes, I am guaranteeing you, and you'll remember this, <laughs> you could go back because everything that goes on the internet, it'll always, it's out there. There's going to be at least one or two intuitive people in your family living in your household. This woo-woo language is going to be second language, like I mentioned. You know, the way that, because going into the age of Aquarius, Aquarius is like, they, they live in community. Like in Israel, they have what we call like a kibbutz, like um, where everybody lives, not everybody, but they live in a community. People help each other out in Africa. People, there's, you know, in all different parts of the world, even like the way that I grew up when I was younger, in, you know, I grew up in the 70s and 80s. My grandparents lived like an apartment, you know, below me or whatever, but I was, we were always together. And this is what the, the energy of Aquarius is going to bring back. It's going to bring community, not necessarily our blood relatives, but we're going to realize that the person that you may think um, knows better or knows less or whatever it is, that you end up, there's a sisterhood, a brotherhood. It's a fraternity and a sorority that happens that we have to remove the layers of judgment. Right now, egos are going to be crushed. I'm telling you right now, structure, structure the way we know it, governments, politics, um, everything. It's going to change. And it's going, this is going to be happening up until like, I want to see the end of January. You actually, 
let's put a date out there, February 20th. Okay, it's gonna be a huge shift. I just put it out there. Um, so what essentially is going to happen, um, um, Christine, can you just, um, Kristen, can you just make sure everyone's muted? So essentially what's going to happen now, we're in the eclipse doorway and an eclipse family, they actually, this, this energy happens about 18 years ago. What we're feeling right now, this big cleansing process, if you go back 18 years ago, is the same thing. And this is 2002. So if you go back and you think about where was I in December of 2002, okay? Because what happens is the universe and our destiny path, for anyone that do has done their destiny blueprint session with me, you know that we go through things in cycles. And each time we go through a cycle, as long as we graduate, we ascend and now we know better, but then there's another lesson. And then we're able to go through it without feeling that we got stuck because now we have all the tools. So that being said, you have to go back and ask yourself, what happened around the time of December of um, 2002? What was I going through? What was I creating? And I guarantee you, it was a period of time of newness for you. Okay, I am like, I'm like, if I go back into 2002 for each and every one of you that is tuned in here tonight, it was a newness for you where you were starting a creative project where you went into like it was a threshold and you're going into that same threshold. And guess what? What you are creating now while we enter the age of Aquarius is going to start manifesting much quicker than it did in 2002. So that's why it is essential for you now for the next couple of weeks to write everything that you want to let go of that you choose to let go of and from this moment on what you choose to co-create with the universe because around the time um around the 15th and the 16th that's when the eclipse doorway closes but that eclipse on the 14th um the eclipse on the 14th is going to last around three days Okay, around three days. And it's going to be really seen in South America, in Chile, and pardon me, some, I, I actually forgot where it was gonna be seen, the third part, but I know it was in, it was in South America, it was in Chile. Um, and what happens whenever there is like um, an eclipse that is um, influencing a certain part that is really visible, in that particular area of the, of the world, what's going to happen, they say that if it's for three days, then for three years, the entire country is gonna go through that particular cleansing process. It doesn't mean bad, there's no bad or good. It's all neutral. It's all about that it gets the second chance, the second wave to co-create something magnificent. So now let's get into like, you know, this beautiful, beautiful magic fairy dust that we're all going to experience on winter solstice. So winter solstice falls on December 21st, Does you know, wherever you are, it's always going to be December 21st, um, which is also 3-3 three, three, numerologically, right? So this is so cool, okay? Because how everything, I love when things just align, there's a synchronicity. So around the time of um, December 21st, there is a conjunction, conjunction is a marriage, right, of the planet Jupiter, which is the largest planet in the solar system, and Saturn. Saturn has these ice rings around it, but inside it's super, super warm. So Capricorns are ruled by Saturn, right? And on the surface, they may appear like cold or bitchy or whatever, you know, like do I appear bitchy and cold? But in the inside, there's a lot of warmth, a lot of warmth. And Jupiter energy is one of like super creativity. Now, some people that are ruled by the energy of Jupiter, um, it's important for them to learn how to ground because they could go into the doors of anxiety because they don't know how to channel in the energy and ground themselves because there's a billion million energies and creative ideas coming to them. So they usually need a partner to help them execute certain ideas. Now, with Saturn, which is Mr. and Mrs. and the one and only responsibility, the patriarch, the father, the strict one that, you know, 
keeps you in line, keeps a good timeline and everything like that. Now connects this conjunction with Jupiter. That is about blessings, about everything like that, about of, of gifts, not everything like that, of rewards, of, um, of being of, it's almost like this beautiful um, um, birth of, of everything that you've ever, it's like, it's dream come true. And when it's together with the energy of Aquarius, this is like the last time, sorry, the last time that this actually happened was during the enlightenment period. It was during the Renaissance. This is when people started writing poetry. This is when Michelangelo was drawing on, on the Vatican ceiling. This is, you know, and then there was an energy, like, like the 1400s. And then the last time prior to that, was when Jesus was born, okay? So you can't make this thing up. This is history. The ancients have predicted during this time of solstice with the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn and Aquarius is now we're entering into the place where we are going to be forming this beautiful community of light, of energy healing. So the things that I've been doing for the past 25 years, where even my family who are scientists and doctors and engineers and physicists that all thought that I was like crazy for leaving education and computer science and going into healing, you know, and, and energy metaphysics is going to be the norm. So what essentially is going to be happening is that in the next couple of years, there is going to be a major transition. Things are really going to, you're going to find stability around 2022 because 2021 is still the energy of change. Number five equals the number of change. I'm going to do a whole um, new year um, vision quest that you're all invited to in January. So 2021 is all about that change. It's that it's the transport to 2022, which is going to be ruled by Venus. And Venus is the planet of um, Venus is the planet of beauty. So we're really going to be able to reap our the rewards of what we're planting now during this conjunction of Jupiter, of creativity, of Saturn, of responsibility, of being able to create an Aquarius which makes it happen super, super quickly. And, but at the same time, you need, we have to cleanse away the old structures. So you're going to see the truth is gonna come out to people with major egos um, that try to hold on to things. This is mine, this is mine, this is mine. We can't own people. We don't own anything on this planet earth. The only thing we own is actually our, the soul that is within us. And even that, that's a part of God, right? We're all spiritual beings, like having this human experience. And that is actually the, what's going to be the norm. Even um, medicine and health is going to catch up to that. You know, they're going to find like um, cures of certain aspects that, you know, big pharma, there's going to be a huge shift by 2027, okay? Okay. <laughs> by 2027. And this is something in which you have, um, you know, it's, it's, we're all energy beings, and you have full control of your own being. This is very important. There's, there's going to be this um, organic telepathic communication with one another. It's like, you don't even have to pick up the phone and to, to send a message to somebody, they'll know, you know, it's like, you don't have to be psychic. It's just going to be this feeling of this cohesiveness. And that is that beautiful energy. There's going to think of the Renaissance in modern times. Okay. How cool is that? How cool is that? So, you know, pretty damn awesome. So with that, you know, um, I'm going to now lead us in a beautiful meditation. Um, and this meditation, we're going to, I actually don't know what we're going to do. We are going to recalibrate. We're going to go on a little journey. And we're also going to um, remove what no longer serves us. So I'm just, I channel all of these in, as you know, um, no meditation is ever the same because um we're not the same that we were yesterday, right? So I invite you all to truly start creating the renaissance of the Aquarian age from this moment on. You know, I love you all. So just take a brief moment, get yourselves comfortable and situated and 
we're going to begin our meditation, I want you to like sit down and, and relax and make sure, um, you know, you could lay down also, but um, make sure that you are in a place where you're going to be uninterrupted, you know? Um, so take a deep, deep, deep breath in. So let's delve into our meditation and just begin focusing on your breath. Going deeply within, close your eyes, connect to the intention that you began with when we first began this transmission. And with your eyes closed, focus on your heart space, and connect to the energy of the rose light, the rose light of compassion, the beautiful rose light of compassion. And with each breath that gives you life, that gives you strength, that gives you force, choices, wisdom, compassion, and a chance to acknowledge the beauty that you are and the gift that you are today. Breathe in this beautiful, beautiful aroma of who you are. Breathing in the energy of beautiful love and exhaling out any toxic thoughts, any energy that no longer serves you. And just focus on my voice as you focus on your breathing as well. Let any other noise or distraction just fade away and simply just sat, just listen to the sound of my voice, of the vibration of my voice. And in your mind's eye, connect to the energy of the beautiful, beautiful planet up above. Just visualize how in your mind's eye, however you wish, the largest planet of Jupiter and right next to it is this beautiful planet of Saturn with its beautiful rings all around. It's so majestic. And just picture those two beautiful conjunctions of Jupiter and Saturn. Picture the most beautiful, iridescent and glitter, glittering, beautiful glittering color glistening, going down this beautiful, beautiful light now, connected to those two planets, connecting to the energy of the Renaissance in the age of Aquarius of 2020. And allow now that beautiful energy to go down your head, relaxing both hemispheres of your brain, your left and your right, your creative and your logic, removing any energy that no longer serves you, any thought forms that doesn't even belong to you. Allow this relaxation to move down your face and your jaw, down your throat area, opening up your throat and your thyroid, your larynx, your windpipe, allowing this beautiful, beautiful vessel to open it up so you can speak your truth, live your truth and create your truth and allow this beautiful light now to flow from the back of your head into your occiput and down both shoulders, removing any of the burden that you may have carried throughout the years unknowingly or the shame or the guilt or the feeling of inadequacies, or the feeling of deflection, or feeling you're not good enough. This beautiful energy of the Saturn and Jupiter conjunction in Aquarius, this glistening light erases all of those doubts and apprehensions once and for all, the ones that belong to you and the ones that do not belong to you. They do not serve you anymore. Give yourself permission to allow this beautiful wave of love 
to wash it away from your shoulders and just feel yourself lighter. And take another deep breath in and just take a sigh out from your mouth. And do this one more time. Breathe in and sigh out through your mouth. And feel this vortex of light going down your back, your spine, your life force channel, going all the way down to your hips. Your entire back is now relaxed. And this beautiful light now goes in the front of your body and it fills up your chest, your heart space, and every single blood vessel and cell and microorganism and the cells that have been dormant, they wake up and they feel this beautiful energy of purity, of truth, of your awakening and your rebirth. And now this energy goes into your solar plexus, glowing in your belly. And that this is where your inner child lives, right between your heart and your belly. And you just let go of all the control. There's nothing for you to be in control of except your own truth and your own integrity and your self-love, your extreme, extreme self-care and self-love. Allow the control to dissipate with that beautiful, glistening, magical light. And it goes now into your sacral chakra, relaxing, releasing all of those nerves and muscles as it goes down both hips and down both legs, your thighs, your knees, which are the bridge, they are the bridges, your knees are the bridges from your childhood to adulthood. And the left one, which is your feminine side, allow it to be flooded with the light. And now the right, which is the masculine that was connected to the earth, allow it to be flooded with the light. As this light, this glistening, beautiful age of Aquarius light goes down both legs you're now filled with this light going down the bottom to the soles of your feet. And next, allow this light from all the way from the bottoms of your soul, allow your feet, picture it illuminating like in this beautiful fluorescent light, like your feet are completely illuminating. And picture this beautiful vessel around you like you're in this cocoon of light, this beautiful white shield and no harm can ever come through this light. It's the most beautiful, peaceful energy, which is the true essence of your blueprint from the moment that you were born and you're now integrating with it. Your heart, which knows the truth of who you are and your potential is now connecting to this beautiful vessel around you, which you have now cleared and it is now in its beautiful, beautiful protective shield. It goes all the way up your body, protecting you from any energy that does not serve you. No harm can come through it. And just stay in this moment of peace and relaxation for a mo one moment. And I'm just gonna count backwards from 10 to one and just focus on my voice. Allow yourself to just really go deep and relaxed, filled with this age of beautiful enlightenment, creativity, stepping into your power. 10, nine, eight, relaxing and going deeper, seven, six, five, with each number back, you're relaxing even more, embracing yourself in this new energy that was always yours. Four, three, so deep, so peaceful, so calm. Two, and one, beautiful. And in this beautiful state of peace and relaxation, 
I want you to picture yourself in this place of great nature, this beautiful, beautiful place of nature. It could be in the jungle, it could be on the beach, wherever you choose. And just go find a bench or a little cabana or a seat or just wherever you are, find a place to rest. And you are never alone. Your guides that are with you from the moment you were born, your guardian angel, these beautiful beings of light that love you so much, that know the true essence of you, that love you with every ounce of every being of you. And you feel this wonderful sense of unconditional love tingling throughout your body. There is this knowing, there is this cognizance that you are so loved and you just surrender from this moment on to the guidance and protection of your inner voice, of your higher self. And your guide then takes you by the hand and wants to show you something. And you get up and you start walking and right before you, you reach this mu beautiful, beautiful musical and colored quartz tunnel. And it's amazing, it's the most beautiful thing that you've ever seen in your life. And it connects you to the age of Aquarius. You're now going through the transition of the energy from the earth, from 3D into 5D. So go ahead with your guide, with your loving ascended masters behind you. And you just walk through as you feel even the energy of the full moon, of the eclipses, the energy of Jupiter, blessings, the energy of Saturn, responsibility, and entering into the age of Aquarius, of creativity, blessings, and the Renaissance of 2020. And the clear quartz is a natural amplifier. So all you have to do as you walk through is set your heart intention right now of what you truly, truly desire to make the next decade of your life and the next month, this month of December, 2020, or any time you ever re-listen to this meditation, the best that it could possibly be, the highest potential. And as you walk, you feel the essence of who you truly are. Beautiful. Take in all the colors, you take a step, and the color now turns into red. And set an intention now as the whole entire quartz tunnel turns red of what it is that you'd like to set the foundation to. How you want to live in purpose. I choose to co-create my life in the purpose of whatever you would like. Know that you're always protected. And now take another step as you walk and it turns orange and set the intention for what it is that you're going to create. And with this beautiful orange light, it cleanses away of all of the energy of betrayal and not trusting. And it fills you up with all the trusting energy and choose to co-create the creation the most beautiful, beautiful, trusting, healthy relationships as you walk along the path and it turns yellow. And that beautiful yellow light erases any energy anymore of control and what no longer serves you or the thought forms or even ego of thinking that you have to do it alone or that everything is you are responsible for everything. Allow yourself to surrender and ask for help and surrender to know that you will be helped and allow this yellow, beautiful quartz to permeate through your body as you now you choose to co-create of taking the action steps of asking for help. 
And now it turns green. And your entire body turns green inside and out and it illuminates your heart space. And it removes any energy of blocked heart chakra, any, any energy of withholding love from yourself, of neglect. Now allow this energy of green now to go through you as you choose and make an intention of co-creating the love in your heart and expressing yourself with the true essence from your heart space of the soul, the beautiful soul and unique gift that you are. And now you walk and it turns blue. The entire tunnel is blue now and so is within permeating your cells as it goes into your throat space and it ignites your chakra, your fifth chakra. And this is the one that we're going to be entering in 2021. This is the energy of truth, of walking your truth, of speaking your truth. So any lies, deceit, or I'm not good enough program, allow it to dissipate now. Anything that you haven't, any criticisms, things that you, the could ofs and the should ofs and the regrets, remove it now. And from this moment on, make a statement to yourself that you choose to co-create, living your life with the utmost truth and integrity and now the energy now turns into indigo. The beautiful tunnel turns into indigo and it removes any energy now of not listening to your voice, of not seeing or closing your eyes to what is before you, of not listening to your intuitive ability and still going into the doors of logic removing all of that as your entire being and the entire tunnel turns indigo like a flame, gas flame. And now this energy permeates through you as you make the intention from this moment on, you will begin listening to the voice of your soul and not doubting what it has to say. And now the tunnel turns violet and you're almost at the end. And this beautiful violet light goes in from the top of your crown chakra, goes all the way down. It blasts away any energy of feeling that you are not being supported by the creator, by God, by source, by Allah, by any of the universe of earth, of the cosmos. You are always, always, always being supported. This energy connects you to the creator that is inside of you and the creator above you it connects you to God. It allows you to know that life is happening for you, that you are not a victim. It removes any energy of victimhood and allows you to accept the victor, the courageous soul that you are, casting away any old depression, any feelings that no longer serve. It removes darkness completely. And you are now illuminated, completely recalibrating within this beautiful prism of this magical quartz tunnel with your guides and you're feeling amazing as you walk out through the tunnel into the space where you are resting, recalibrating in this beautiful energy, knowing that you are filled with all the purity, with all the knowledge and the wisdom and the intuitive ability to walk through your destiny with grace and ease. You are protected and you are loved. You are now ready to enter the age of Aquarius with total confidence, with all the love in your heart. And as I count from one to three, you will be fully awake, filled with this beautiful, harmonious energy one, getting up from the meditation, feeling amazing. Two, knowing that you are always protected and you are the driver of your beautiful destiny as you surrender to the will 
of what you came here on this planet Earth to do. And three, open up your eyes and just put your hands in prayer position. Namaste. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you for your beautiful hearts. And I wish you an amazing, amazing December.